Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss one of the important interview questions that is generally asked when interviewer wants to test your UI knowledge. Now the question is very simple that you have to you will be given to design a screen such that it have different behavior in landscape and the portrait mode. For example, say I have taken a very simple uh, UI where I have an image view and then I have few text. Now my requirement is that when I run this app in the portrait mode it should show like image and then below it is showing the text that's perfect but when I rotate it that means I you know, change it to landscape mode where I have more width so how it should appear that the image should come on the left hand side and then this this app developer and then this description and this subscribe this should remain in the same uh, vertical direction but right of the image something similar to this and you know instead of this text image there can be any combination of button label you know, that all depends on what is there in the interviewer's mind at that point of time so let me write a few line of code and then i'll make you uh, explain what i'm doing
okay so now let's understand this code so the first thing that we have to understand is this function so here I have written the ex uh, extension of view and then I have just written a function to get the size and if you see that I have used here geometry reader and on the geometry reader what I am doing that whenever the geometry reader is changing so I am putting that value into my preference key now preference key is, is like a new term here so basically preference key we use to send the data from child to parent let's say that for example you have a scenario where uh, you have a parent view and you want to send the data to child view it's very easy because parent has a reference of child but let's say that it's a vice versa now you to you need to send the information from child to parent now there are multiple approaches we can use binding but in that case what you need to do let's say that you have multiple uh, view hierarchy you have to use binding at each level to bind each views with the parent right now to solve this problem the easiest way is we can use a preference key and it can easily transfer or it can easily transmit your data from uh, your child to the parent level okay so if we have a child views and parent doesn't have that value we can pass that via preference key and in that in this case what we are passing we are passing the size because see this size is going to change here like uh, when we are moving from portrait to landscape and this we have to notify it to our parent view so that our parent view can also accommodate that okay so uh, I'm using this on preference change modifier so that whenever the preference changes I can just notify my uh, on change uh, closer and whenever there is a size change I'm just setting it to my preference key okay now if you come to this uh, uh, container view that I have defined so this is more or kind of a generic view which we can use for multiple views it's not like that this landscape and port portrait that we are drawing is just limited to one screen it, it can be for multiple screen as well right and here I have use a view builder so with this view builder I will be passing my content this content will be the content of the view that you want to draw okay and then inside the body uh, thing what I have done see I'm just comparing this width and height so the two variable I have taken width and height and then on this view I'm just listening to the size okay so whenever there is a size change what will happen I will update my width and height variable and as these are state level property so what will happen my view will again refresh okay so based on this width and height if the width is greater than height that means I'm in landscape mode I'm just making H stack so that the child will arrange in the horizontal direction else I'm arranging the child in the vertical direction okay so, so that's all for this now uh, let's create the actual view where uh, we will be designing our images and the title So I'm done with my code. So if you see, uh, the first thing that uh, my code start with is this adaptive container view. So now this is the same struct that I have uh, created here, this one. So now what will happen? Now this container root is uh, we have G stack and then we have uh, based on the width and height, it is either going to wrap it inside H stack or V stack. So that's the reason that further I have not taken any V stack. If you see, I have directly taken this adaptive container view because I'm going to get either V stack or H stack as my uh, main container okay and then I have taken an image then another V stack which contains my text another text and then another text okay and let me bring my assets here so now I have my logo as well okay no that's all for the view part nothing much 
now we have to use this the new view that I have created that I have to call from my content view okay, I'm going to just delete everything from here and then just use this view okay now let's first run on the iPhone and then we'll also run on the iPad also as well let me check which iPhone I'm using 14 Pro okay so if you see that we are seeing this image and uh, this text that what we have taken in a vertical direction. So now let's rotate the screen and see whether it actually rotates or not. And now if you see that the image appears on the left hand side and all the text remains in the vertical direction in the right hand side. Okay, That means the code that we have written is perfect. And if you give a breakpoint you can even see that how this uh, uh, preference uh, thing that we are using to actually build this that is working. So whenever you uh, change the screen it actually calls. So let me just put a breakpoint after changing it back to here. So let's say that if I put a breakpoint here okay so, and let me rotate it. So see it got uh, stuck. So basically what is happening that now the geometry re reader gets a new size so it is setting that to my preferences and then it is calling my modifier okay and then my height and width is getting modified and that's how my screen is refreshing now let's do one thing let's change the simulator from ipad iphone to ipad and let's see that how it behaves in the ipad okay so if you see in the ipad also in the portrait mode it's coming perfect and if I change it to landscape mode it changes okay so the code is working both in the landscape mode and the portrait mode hope you like this video and if you have really enjoyed watching this video please do subscribe the channel and do share among your IS groups that you are part of thanks for watching thank you